Ever wondered what her full cargo hold of rares in a Type 7 would be like? We're going to find out today. Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of Elite Dangerous. Troy here, and in this episode, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to go to Akinar, and I'm going to hopefully get my rank up with the Empire. I'm tired of being on friendly terms, and hopefully, from what I've understood here as far as trading goes, is where you buy the goods from doesn't really seem to matter. It's where you sell them that gets you actually a uh, good or bad reputation. And uh, I found this out doing a lot of rare trading uh, or not rare trading, but just, well, rare trading as well, earlier on, I'd noticed that everywhere that I would sell them, they'd be friendly towards me. And everywhere that I would buy them wouldn't care less. And when I did regular trade runs in my Type 7, I found out that where I was selling it from very quickly became the place that liked me. Whereas the place I was buying from and selling only a little bit back to didn't really care one way or the other. So, I found that out, and through that observation, I wanted to see, well, what would it be like if I sold 232 tons of rare cargo at a single location that I wanted to get in good with? And then I thought to myself, well, where would I want to go to get in good with? Oh, I know. The capital of the empire. So, that's what we're going to do. So, let me go ahead and bring this one up for you. Now, what I'm doing right now, I want to get across just how dangerous this is. Okay? I have no shields no shields. I don't have a fuel scoop and I don't have a discovery scanner. Now the last thing might not seem like that big of a deal. The fuel scoop? Yeah, obviously. Um, unless you think about it. Well, I can't stop at any sort of platform. I have to go to an orbital or a Cordialis station. I have to go to a big station to land a Type 7, right? So in that sense, fuel is definitely going to be an issue. The other thing is I'm not going to be able to get fuel from the stars that I frequent. And if I'm in a system that's unexplored, this is where the basic discovery sensor comes in, I won't be able to find out if there is a station I can land at there, because there's no data. So this is extremely dangerous. I have no guns. I have no shields. I have nothing but cargo. I have 232 tons of rare goods, the biggest pirate payday of all time. And, I'm not even doing this with the best thrusters, or even armor. This is as dangerous as it gets for trading. And I'm going to be going about 177 light years to Akinar to go ahead and sell all this stuff. All in one location. And I'm going to see how much it brings in. So I hope you guys are along for the ride here and you enjoy this. There's going to be a lot of cutting here, but anything that happens, anything interesting, any sort of fuel fuel stops or any sort of interdictions, anything else like that, which there should be plenty of. This thing is a magnet for being interdicted. Type sevens, man, they just did, they just get interdicted all the time, and they're really hard to get out of interdictions. You can do it, but it's really hard, and it takes a while to get used to how to do it. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys are gonna have some fun watching this. So let's return to the surface, and we'll start making our first route. So, where am I heading to? Akinar. There we go. 173.81 light years away. So, I was a little off. But let's see here. Let's go back to my current location, which is almost... Okay, so let's angle the camera this way. A little bit that way. There we go. All right, so almost straight down and to the right. So we'll go to the left just a little bit and then straight up. And then the first place that I can plot a route to, I will. So there's no system data here, so I'm going to be a little smart about this. Let's see here. No system data. No system data. Anywhere. 
And this is what I gotta be careful of. No system. Well, here we go. Let's go ahead and plot the route to it so it'll remember where I'm at. Let's go to the system map. And there is a Coriolis station here. So, good. This is where we're gonna going to go. Actually, let's go to our destination here. And let's make sure none of our rare goods are prohibited here, because I do have some that are narcotics. So, I don't see any rare items listed under the prohibited, so that is definitely where we're going to go. So, this might not be quite as perilous, but it still could be. So, let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh, actually, I should be able to make it. Let's see here. Galaxy map. Is it a solid line all the way down? Yes, it is. Okay, so I should have enough fuel to actually make it all the way here. And for some reason that messed up my route. Solid line. Okay, I'm very nervous. <laughs> but let's go ahead and do this. Let's get out of here. Ship released. Engines engaged. Landing gear retracted. Okay, there's a player. Looks like he's coming in the dock, so I'm just going to let him. Ensign Vermund. Hello, Commander. Alright. If there's AI, I go ahead and get out of here. But if there's a player, I usually go ahead and be polite and let him come in. That's just me. Alrighty guys, I'll see you if anything interesting happens. Or if anything cool. <laughs> but I'll see you guys one way or another here pretty soon. I'll go ahead and shut up now. Enjoy the ride. So we're in Bellagio, or however the hell you pronounce that, and now I gotta find this Coriolis station, and we'll make a quick fuel stop. That's a pretty fair ways out too, 1300. So hopefully I don't get interdicted on the way here, because that would suck. And um, this is Federation space, so it's likely, but not as likely as it is in an anarchy system, so we'll see. I don't see any players, and I doubt I will out here. But I'll bring you guys back if I get interdicted, or if we make it there. Alright, well, it didn't make much of a fuss to get here, so... Let's go ahead and dock up.
All right, we're running on empty. So let's go ahead and fuel up, plot our next route, get out of here. 13 grand. Ooh. All right, I had a fuel scoop earlier, an A f or C4, because I couldn't find the A4. And man, that was nice. So let's see, back to Akinar. So that was like 80 some odd miles, uh, light years away. That's 90. I think I could make it. I think I could make it. I don't know. Do I want to risk it? Yeah, I think I want to risk it. Why not? Right? So let's let that load, and I'll plot the route. There we go. Hmm. And I didn't check to see if it was a solid line. I think it is. Uh, it is still a solid line, so I hope that means what I think it means. But we'll chance it. Let's go ahead and get out of here. see any players. See one guy leaving there, so let's go ahead and get out of here. See you in Akinar unless something else happens on the way. Alright. That is a pretty star. Okay, guys, we have made it to Akinar. And, uh, yeah. There is a price to pay for having such a pretty star at the center of the system you call home. That is, that you have to be very far away from it. So, I'll see you guys when I get actually to Dawes Hub. Right in orbit around the capital. Hello to the capital, Starport. I really like the capital Starport too. It's nice on the inside. Ways out to get to it though. So let's go ahead and get in there and let's see what happens with these rares. Hopefully they don't crash, because that would suck a lot. <laughs> We're gonna go there. Let's see if we can get out of the friend zone. Because he's like... Alright, nice. right, 17. Looks like you're in. I love these stations. Though you think they would make it just a little bit different being the capital. It's the only thing. Docking successful. Engines disengaged. Alright. Ah, we made it. A little nerve-wracking, but made it. So, let's find out if it's worth it, shall we? Let's go ahead and enter the hangar. 
as it is now. Thank you, Aziz. Aziz Light. I do like how the larger hangars look in these nicer stations. They're just a bit more polished. I like it. All right. So, Starport Services. Okay, the refuel is going to be expensive, but I'm probably... Ah, whatever. That's not much anymore. All right. So let me go ahead and get my little notepad out here. And my balance as of right now is 18,551,000. And 428. Okay. So, that is my starting balance. We'll see how much I rake in after all this is done. Let's go ahead and start. So, to go ahead and begin, over here, let me show you. In the cargo, 232 tons. Nothing but rares. And I'm really curious to see what this is going to bring. So, let's see here. Commodities market. Let's see if we get out of that friend zone. So, let's start here. Oh, that's not going to bring much at all, is it? That's a lot closer than I thought that one was. So we'll factor that in. Everything else, though, should go for a lot. Alright, and that's it. So, let me go ahead and do a quick cut here, and I'll go ahead and add this up and find out exactly how much we made on this trip. So, according to the maths, we are looking at a total profit for this journey of 3,348,088 credits. That's nice, but I don't think it's actually more beneficial to do this kind of trading than it is regular trading when you have this much cargo space. But it was an interesting experiment nonetheless. Now, you could add about another 150,000 to that, so you can make it about 3.5 mil. So I'd say that's about where it would be, because the Delta Phonetics, or Phonesis, I think is how you actually properly pronounce that. But the Delta Phonesis Palms, I believe... Uh, well, I don't believe. I, I know. I didn't sell them at the right station. They were, I was far too close to sell them here. It doesn't really matter, though. They respawn whenever you sell them. So... That's not a big loss on my part, but I could have made about another 150 grand. So, how much does the Type 7 bring you? About 3.5 million, full load. Is it worth it? No, but it's cool. So, alright guys, I hope you like that. And if you're wondering why I'm not in a clipper right now, it's because it sucks. <laughs> it's my uh, it's my favorite, favorite ship to fly, but it's the most useless ship to use. It doesn't... It's not really that good at all. It takes way too much money to outfit it. At that point, you might as well just buy a Python. And uh, it doesn't have the cargo space a Type 7 has. And if you scratch the paint on it, it'll cost you 40 grand. Not worth it. So, is it fun to fly? Yes. Is it my favorite ship to fly? So far. Is it the ship that I'm flying now? No. It's not worth it. Unless they had passenger freighting, I could see a use for that ship. But right now, not yet. Not yet. They need to adjust it too, because the Empire uses them as sort of, uh, kind of, uh, destroyer ships, if, as you will, right? They're naval ships. You need a naval rank to get it. They should be as strong as a naval ship. And I really think they need, need to adjust those. I think they need to adjust how much it costs to repair, as well as they need to adjust how much shields it has. It needs a lot more shields. A lot, because you're as big as a barn and you get shot by everything. So that's my little rant there. I'll do a video on it at some point, but because I'm in the competition, I'm in the Type 7.
I hope you guys understand. And if you le like this video, leave a like. If it uh, inspired a comment, please leave one. And if you're not subscribed, please do. Other than that, guys, I'll see you next time.